Creativity is a current that runs through every one of us and the drinking from a cold spring creative immersion is a way to access that current through creative play. Each week we're going to uh, create a video that shows a technique that I'll be then doing side by side with you in a live Zoom meeting. We're going to have a, a private group where you can come in and share your work and encourage one another. We'll have regular prompts to give you an idea of a way to approach something or a theme to, to work with or play with. And uh, we'll have a regular interactive Zoom conversation every week. This program is going to give you a way to just begin again lightly without any expectation or anticipation of this, you know, final project that you're going to hang on a wall, but rather to re-experience the joy that we feel when we're just playing with something, the way we felt when we were very little and we were so free to explore and we were so brave to try things and that's the, the quality of experience that I'm going to be guiding you through in the next three months. I designed this series of exercises for people who don't consider themselves artists but really want to try to get into some kind of artistic or creative groove. This is also a really good uh, series of activities for an artist who's been practicing for a long time and really just wants another way to go into creating with a fresh perspective, with a little support from another artist, and with some new ideas. The intention of this program is not to end up with something that you're going to hang on a wall. The intention of it is to really give you a playground and the companionship and the fellowship, the camaraderie of doing all of these exercises every week with different artists who are doing this together, different people who are doing this together. It's really about creating that kind of a safe zone where we can all explore and play together. If you're someone who's been making art for a long time and has already developed a practice, you might be someone like me who has created a lot of work and has come up against, well, now what? How, how do I shake things up and make things interesting? When I started incorporating these practices into my daily life, into my intentional art making program, it completely reconnected me with this current of joy that is just there running through me. And I realized that I'd been kind of looking around other places to find it, but that it had always been there, just, just waiting to be reconnected with. So everything in this program is really designed to help anyone, whether you're a beginning artist or a very experienced artist, simply make room for that exploration. And in that exploration space, that experimentation space that you enter into doing these activities, I think that everyone will find there is just such a joy in beginning to do even one of these exercises. You don't have to know how to draw. You don't have to know how to paint. You don't have to be an artist. You don't have to have any experience whatsoever in making anything. This is really designed for as if you were an eight-year-old coming to sit at the table and just beginning with some material, with some idea, and a little guidance along the way. And I think people will be really surprised to see how simply beginning with a little encouragement and that time and that space dedicated to it will open up doors to something that's been there all along. Well, this program starts on January 2nd. It's a three month immersion with daily, weekly, and monthly um, prompts, videos, and activities. If you have any questions for me, you can simply email me at erinleegaffel at yahoo.com. I'm happy to fill you in on any questions you might have. You can go to bigsurarts.com and um, look into more details about the program. And you can uh, look at some different examples of types of art making practices that I use in my daily life at erinegaffel.com.